Eastern Maryland, Wednesday, November 15th, 1854, Sundown. Anne shivered. The cold was everywhere. The dirt floor of her family's one-room cabin was almost as cold as the November air. Earlier, the sun and hard work in the field had kept her warm, but now Anne had to move closer to the cook fire. It didn't help. She would have to wait for the fire's warmth to fill the cabin. Anne, don't get too close now, said Mama. Anne pulled her feet back just enough to put Mama at ease. Mama was a strong woman who always said her children were the most important thing in the world. She said no matter what Master Adam thought, they were her children, not his. Just because they were slaves didn't mean he owned their hearts or their souls. Daddy always said Mama had a fire burning inside and that it was where she got her strength. But the fire inside Mama was burning out. It had started two months ago when Granny died. Mama barely ever smiled now, and she never hummed while she cooked anymore. Losing her Mama had broken her heart. Anne missed the old Mama even more than she missed Granny. If she had one wish, she'd bring Granny back to them. That way, Mama would come back, too. Daddy sat down on the ground next to Anne and let out a groan, the same way he did every night. His back was tired. Their family had spent all day pulling dry corn stalks from the hardened soil in the field. Paul sat down where he didn't fit, right between Anne and Daddy. He was only five, and he couldn't stand to be more than three feet from somebody. He was scared of everything, too. Maybe that's why he couldn't let himself be alone. 